Wake up, cappers. Gamblers, punters, get up. Get the fuck out of bed. It's 8.55 a.m. Eastern Time. 5.55 a.m. Pacific Time. What up, salutes? And what up, mama? Yesterday was very disappointing. Lost another three-game parlay by one solitary run. And I blame two people for that. Trey Turner and Adam Lind. All Trey had to do was plant his feet, make a good throw to first. But then, even so, Adam Lind just had to reach down, pick up the ball. Instead, he got nothing but fucking dirt in his glove. So to uh, Trey Turner and Adam Lind, I hope you guys choked on cock all night long. <laughs> fucking cock gobblers, fuck you. All right, let's get to today's action. Okay, today we are keying, anchoring the Chicago White Sox on the road over the Minnesota Twins. We're going to key them to two other games. So, we got the White Sox on the road over the Twins at minus 130. It is Jose Quintana versus Nick Turley. Quintana is 3-8 and eight with a 5.07 ERA and a 1.37 whip. Not the best numbers, but they're coming down. In June, he's three. he's got a 3.12 ERA and a 1.27 whip. And Quintana has the lowest run support in the league at 2.65 runs a game. But there will be run support today because the Sox are facing Nick Elizabeth Hurley Turley, who we've hammered against victoriously on both of his starts. Turley is 0-1 with a 12.46 ERA and a 2.42 whip. Hitters are batting 436 off of him. Turley played 10 years in the minors, but he's a Mormon. So he's used to getting doors slammed in his face. He's played for the Gulf Coast Yankees, the Tampa Yankees, the Staten Island Yankees, the Charleston River Dogs, the Trenton Thunder, just to name a few. He's played with so many minors, he should be on a neighborhood watch list. He's played with more minors than Michael Jackson. My advice to Turley is to make the most out of your time in the, in the show, in the majors. Get as many autographs as you can. There will be no sweep in Minnesota. The White Sox are taking them out today. So I'm tying them to two games. The first game is the Cardinals on the road over the Phillies at minus 155. It's Carlos Martinez versus Aaron Nola. Martinez is hot as fuck right now. He's 6-5 and five with a 2.86 ERA and a 1.05 whip. He just threw a complete game against these sad sack Phillies on June 10th. He has nine quality starts in his last 10. In his past six starts, he's got a 1.77 ERA. 50 strikeouts in 45 and two-thirds. Listen to this. He's held batters to a 159 batting average and a 450 OPS. You hear that, Turley? He's hot. Martinez is hot. And he's going up against Nola, who's a good young pitcher. He's 3-5, and 4.76 ERA, 1.35 whip. But he's playing for the fucking Phillies, man. Phillies are bums. Phillies are 1-5 in their last six. They've lost 13-14, of 14, and they're 0-5 against the Cards this year. This seems like an easy call. Okay, so I'm tying them once to the cards, and the cards are at minus 155, and I'm tying them also to the Toronto Blue Jays on the road over the Rangers at minus 145. It's Marcus Stroman versus Martin, Martin Perez. Stroman is 7-3 with a 3.15 ERA and a 1.25 whip. He's lasted at least six innings in seven of his last eight starts. He's allowed more than three run, runs just once in that span. Perez is 3-6, 4.72 ERA, and a 1.64 whip. He has one quality start in his last four, but he does pitch well against the Jays. Now, the Jays have a 500 curse. Eight failed attempts. They are 0-8 when they're one game under 500. Eight failed attempts to reach 500. Four pitchers have each failed twice. Biagini, Estrada, Hap, and Lariano. Those four pitchers, they own a, a 10.58 ERA, allowing 52 hits and 38 earned runs in 32.1 innings. Marcus Stroman has not had his attempt yet. Now, three weeks ago, two weeks ago, I don't know when it was, a couple weeks ago, I had this very vivid dream. This wizard came to me and kept saying that the curse would be broken when the blue dwarf reaches the top of the mountain. I had no idea what this meant. I thought it was just 
crazy dream shit. The blue dwarf will reach the top. Of the, the curse will be broken when the blue dwarf reaches the top. Of the, I ain't got all this dumb shit, right? This dreamy shit. But then, last night, I'm looking at this matchup, and it's the smallest pitcher in Major League Baseball, five foot eight Marcus Stroman. And the mountain is the pitching mound. The blue dwarf is Stroman. The mountain is the pitching mound. And the curse will be broken today. This is magical shit. Put your money on it. So I got 200 bucks on the White Sox Blue Jays parlay at plus 198. 200 bucks on the White Sox cards parlay at plus 191. Let's get this cash, man. Let's take what's ours, B. Milk these fucking bookies. Lost two days in a row, and I'm not happy about it. It's going to stop today. Good luck out there, punters. Let me know what you're hitting. Hit me at Jimmy the Bag on Twitter. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you get quick, fast emails when the new videos come out. Also, the Day at the Races came out yesterday. A Day at the Races with Jimmy the Bag came out yesterday. Take a look at that. But much love. Much love, cappers. Go get that cash.